Hi guys and welcome to another weekly vlog. Now I am just quickly recording this as I'm actually editing the vlog. So this is future G. Um, but I just wanted to do a bit of an intro because this vlog is so hectic I didn't even get a chance to film an introduction to it. But basically this week has been a mixture of all sorts. There was self-isolating, there was house sitting, moving to my parents for a while, lots and lots goes on this week as well as trying to ride the horses and do everything else. So sorry if it seems a little bit hectic, I've done my best to piece it together you know nice and smoothly so hopefully you don't notice too much. But anyway guys enjoy the vlog and I'll see you all soon. So on Monday it was about 30 degrees, it was super hot and when I brought Smokey up he was absolutely covered, he was so so dirty. So I decided to give him a bath both to cool him off and just to try and get him back looking clean. Um, so that is what I did and he was a very good boy and um, he's very much used to being bathed now seeing as he is the dirtiest grey pony you could ever wish to meet. So that is Smokey all bathed and now I'm going to go and poo pick his field and leave him in. I might actually leave him in this afternoon as a break from the sun because it has been like super sunny and 30 degrees. So I think he might actually enjoy just being stood in the cooler stables for a bit. So he can stand in the stable. He'll dry off quite nicely anyway in here I imagine because um, it is still very warm. But it is definitely cooler in here for him and he's got a hay net. So I think we'll leave him in here. I'll just come turn him out later once he's dried off. Okay guys, so it's a little bit later on now and I'm just going to go down and turn Smokey out. I left him in his stable while he was drying off. It's been about three hours, so I'm going to go turn him out now into the paddock um, and just see him. I don't really have anything else I need to do with him, it's still way too hot to ride. So I can't ride him tonight, um, unfortunately, so I'm going to try and ride him either first thing tomorrow morning or late tomorrow night. So I've just turned Smokey out now and as you can see he is lovely and clean. How long is it going to last? What's this like bit of hair doing? I really really need to cut it's like oh goodness. Why do you have to look a mess? I really need to trim his mane, it's way too long. Um but I keep forgetting to bring scissors down so I think I'll do it tomorrow. But as you can see, I mean even his tail is clean for Smokey, like it's still a little bit yellow. Um, but for smokes, that is very clean. So hopefully he stays clean. You're gonna get your head on the electric. You've got hay as well. You're a good boy. Sort it out. You don't want to be sorted out. Good boy. I've also sprayed him so hopefully he doesn't get filthy. <laughs> so he's off. Tomorrow I've got some filming to do um, for a promo video for Bransby so I need to ride him tomorrow as well. So hopefully the weather won't be too hot. I think today was like the hottest day so we'll see how tomorrow goes. Hi guys, so it has actually been a couple of days since I last vlogged um, and there's two reasons for that and I'll get into those in a minute but if you hear snuffles or any weird noises it's because Ted is like right under the camera but this is the best lighting. So um, as I was saying, I haven't filmed for a couple of days now because well the first reason is it has been like 30 odd degrees every single day which in the UK is unheard of um, if you can tell I've ha got like a little bit of sunburn but basically um, I've not done anything because well for the first couple of days I thought I had COVID because I've got a really really bad um, cough which I actually think is just a chest infection so I started self-isolating went for a PCR test because obviously I had symptoms of a um, new continuous cough 
that came back negative the next day. Um, I have done some lateral flows since then because I was like, I don't trust it. <laughs> and I don't know why, you know, just like I'd convinced myself I had COVID because I honestly, my cough is so bad. Um, I was like, it can't be anything else, um, but it is. So I definitely don't have COVID. I've done like three tests now. Um, so I'm no longer self-isolating. So obviously I can go back to doing things and filming for you guys. So that is what I'm going to do today. I'm actually going to film a video that you will have probably already seen by the time you're watching this vlog and that's my new horse box reveal so I'm very excited about that if you haven't seen it yet I'll link it below um, but the first thing I'm going to do this morning is take Ted for a walk because it's still meant to get up to like 25 degrees I think today even though it's meant to be cloudy so I'm going to take Ted out as he's very excited as you can see walkies oh I said the magic word um, so I'm going to take him for a walk now before it gets too warm because it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. I woke up at like 5. Um, is it 7 o'clock? Yeah, it's literally 10 past 7. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now and then I'm going to do some work and then I'm going to go film. Never up, never down, never so that evening I rode Smokey and we actually filmed um, a little clip for a Bransby Horses promotion video um, because on the 21st of August I am holding a meet and greet um, it's Saturday the 21st between the hours of half 10 and half 12 um, so if you want to come along and say hi, I will be at Brensby Horses in Lincoln. But after I filmed the promo, we then did a little bit of jumping. Now, if you've noticed, Smokey's got a new saddle, um, which is the John Whitaker jumping saddle. And this is the first time I'd ever jumped him in it. I'm actually struggling a little bit to get used to the saddle. Um, it's smaller because it fits him better, but it de doesn't fit me better, which is the only problem. I think once I've got used to it, I'll be absolutely fine, but I've gone from a GP to a jumping saddle and it's got smaller um, and I found that I was like really struggling to just sit in it as you can probably see from my landings on my jumping and um, so yeah we need to get used to the new tack but for now we're just having fun practicing so I've just had an exciting delivery from Equiel um, equestrian she sent me a phone case and a saddle pad previously but I've never had any of their clothing items and I believe that's what has been sent this time so this has been very kindly gifted to me and I'm very excited to see what they've sent oh my goodness how cute is this so I believe this is their um, item that they're selling to raise funds for cancer charity and then there's some other bits of her. Oh, so this is their summer collection items that they've sent me. This is honestly the cutest packaging ever. Look at that. That is so pretty. So I'm going to open these up. I absolutely love that they package them so nicely in the ribbon. And all the tissue paper. I feel really bad like ripping this open. Let me get these out and then I'll so show you. This is what they've sent me and oh my goodness, this is so generous of them. So a massive thank you to Equiel. I'll put all the links to their socials and their website down below. Their stuff is like, looking at this, it's incredible like quality. It's really, really nice material and the colours are just so bright and beautiful for summer. So I'll go through what they've sent me very kind sent me a lilac base layer and the best thing is that they are short sleeved um, I don't have many short sleeve base layers so these are perfect for summer um, so I've got lilac and then this is the peach I believe beautiful and bright um, a lot brighter than it's actually showing on camera so you'll have to see for yourself and then these are their um, riding leggings in grey and they are a proper grey because I find like some I order that are grey um so I've ordered like the 
um, I can't remember what brand it was before, but they came and they were like a mocha colour. I was really unhappy with them. Uh, but these are beautiful um, with the silver on there as well. I absolutely love the logo. So I'm so happy to try all these. So this is their summer collection. Well, from their summer collection, there are other items in there as well. So be sure to check that out. And then over here, they have this Canter on Cancer campaign. So it's to raise money for breast cancer charities and it's something that's very close to my heart because um, it's something that's very close to my family. So I absolutely love this and as soon as they mentioned it I was like yes get me on board um, to help promote this and I'll just show you the back. This is the back and how unbelievably beautiful is that. Um, it's so nice and again it's such high quality I'm really really impressed with this. Again this is the first time I've ever um, seen their clothing in person so I've seen them online and they've always looked fantastic but I didn't know what the quality was like and I can guarantee this is going to be amazing. So again, I'll put all links below and what I'll do, instead of trying it on, on now, I'll show you it over the next couple of days. So I'll, wear so I'll wear these over the next few days and show you what they look like on. So it's actually a few days later now, it's so sorry the vlog has been a little bit sporadic but the reason for that is because I was starting um, like a new job type of thing that I'm doing on the side of my YouTube which is like a social media um, like consultant manager type of thing for different companies and I, so I started that this week and also my parents um, have asked me to house sit for a little while so I'm currently house sitting the farm. Um, so me and my boyfriend Chris are going to be looking after all of the animals on the farm um, while the, my parents are away because obviously I live in my own house now so I've moved back home um, for a little while. So you will be seeing lots of the horses at home. Now if you watched my video previously when I house sat um, the farm then you will know that my parents have a strict rule when they're away that I'm not allowed to ride any of the horses here. Now they can't stop me riding Smokey because he's not at home. They can advise against it but um, they always ask me not to ride um, at home because 
nine times out of ten I'm at home on my own because my boyfriend works and they don't want me getting injured while they're away because I'm the only one that can look after the horses. So for the next um, couple of weeks I won't be riding the horses at home, I will still be riding Smokey but I'll still be doing plenty with them so I'll be sharing what I'm doing every day, um, looking after all the animals, all the horses and living back at my parents house which is very weird. Um, but yeah, so I've had a lovely morning, as you've seen I've put a few clips up, I've looked after the horses this morning, poo picked, fed them, fed the animals, the weather's kind of taken a bit of a turn, it's very like windy and not very nice now, so I've just been doing some work um, on my laptop and just editing a load of things, I had so many things to edit and I've just taught myself how to like make animations um, for the last three hours that's what I've been doing um, and then this afternoon I'm going to try and give the horses a bit of a groom. I'm going to check that it's not going to rain first. Um, but yeah, that's my plan um, and I need to take the dogs for another walk and just generally look after all the animals. So yeah, I will check back in with you very soon. So today didn't go strictly to plan. It was nice weather when I took the dogs for a walk, but unfortunately the heavens opened and me and Chris got absolutely soaked when we poop it later on in the day. And here we see the equestrian boyfriend in his natural habitat, pooping in the rain, ready to complain all day about it. You're having fun, sweet. At least the blue matches. <laughs> I could have given you the pink. Yeah. I should have wore a... What's it called? Hood? Yeah. Put <laughs> camera Hi guys, so it's actually like Monday, which is a few days after I last filmed. So I'm apologise that I'm like putting a lot of different days together that aren't necessarily in the sequence but it's been a bit hectic so yesterday I bathed Smokey because it's absolutely disgusting like, I brought him in from the field and he, and he had obviously been rolling a lot so I gave him a bath and I left him in the stable last night and then this morning I'm going to go and turn him out um, but first I think I'll ride him so we'll go and see what colour he is, hopefully no stale stains, um, but yeah I'm going to go ride him and then I'll turn him out and I've already um, fed the horses here their morning hay nets and poo picked so that's all done, all the horses at home are done, it's just Smokey that we need to go and do now. So I gave Smokey a bath yesterday because it's absolutely filthy and left him in and look, what the hell smells, I don't even know how you manage it. So now I'm going to have to just brush you, ride you, and then wash you again. Fantastic.
So once I'd ridden, I then got some stain remover on those stable stains because last time I checked, he wasn't a piebald. Um, so it was time to get rid of those um, and try and keep him clean, which is just a job in itself. But he's so used to being bath now that he literally just stands there. He's like, oh, here we go again. I honestly go through so much stable stain remover and shampoo with this pony. It's just silly, but... Oh well, that's what happens when you buy greys, I guess. So, he's had a bath. He's got his fly rug on. And I've even plaited his tail. If you still get dirty, Smokey, I'm going to spray paint you and call you Bay. Okay? Okay guys, so it's a bit later on now, um, I've finished all my meetings for the day so that's good. I've just come and brought the rabbits some strawberry leaves um, because all of our strawberry plants are finished um, with the fruit now, all the strawberries are gone so there's just the plants left so I thought I'd come and give them some of those. So Ted is also staying with us while we're here on the farm and he absolutely loves it. Him and Balto are the bestest of friends, aren't you, Bolt? <coughs> oh yes, shut up, Mr Cockerel. Do you like any farm, Ted? Oh goodness, you can't stroke one without the other. So Chris, bless him, is just feeding the pigs and the goats and I'm just going to feed the chickens in a moment. <laughs> I'll just leave the dogs to play. So the goats are running low on a bit of hay, so I'm going to go get them some. Hello Mr Chunk. Hello gorgeous man. We really, really need to plant this warlock. See in a bit Chunky. Go get some hay for the goats. Ooh, lovely. Someone's made up some bags. So I don't need to do that. I can just drag this to the goats. Okay, so, so the goats have managed to eat all of their hay, so I'll just empty this into there. There you go, girlies. Hello. I'm not going to do your weird head thing. Not nice. Good girl. Oh yeah, so then... Um, that's all the animals fed for today. Okay, so I'm back home now and I've just given all of the horses their lunchtime hay net, so I've just emptied them out. And as you can see, Chili is disgusting. Aren't you, you dirty boy? But the weather seems to be a little bit cloudy now, but it was really nice earlier. Um, so hopefully it stays nice. But I have got meetings this afternoon, so I thought I'm going to be spending most of it inside on the laptop. <laughs> but that's okay. So I'm going to say bye to the horses now and go get some work done. Good morning guys, so it is now the next day and it is another lovely sunny day today. So I've done the horses for the morning so you don't see the same thing every single day. Um, and now I'm heading to Pets at Home because I need to get Ted some more food and I'm just going to have a little bit of a look around and see what there is. Um, so as always I'll bring you guys along for the journey. Okay guys, 
So I've just come back from Pets at Home and I didn't film while I was in there because to be honest I was in there for like all of five minutes. Um, but as you can see I've got Ted some more food so I feed him this. It's the Step Up to Naturals. Um, he's been on it since he was about six months um, and he's coming up to a year now so I've had to buy him the adult one um, which seems crazy because in my mind he's still such a puppy. But you're not your big boy now. He is basically one. Um, next month yeah next month so i've put him on it um a month early but one of these bags lasts him forever um so i've got him the adult one so i also bought the dogs some toys so i saw this and it was the cutest thing ever um so i thought i'd get that for ted a little giraffe and then i got this big crinkly thing um pizza slice for balto and yeah again they were like both three pounds so i'm just going to take the tags off now um, and then give them to the dogs. I bet Ted goes after this one actually because he loves crinkly ones and then I bet Balto ends up with a giraffe. But anyway, let's give them a... <laughs> Come on then puppies. Right. You can have the giraffe. Come on, take him. And you and that? Good boy. Take him. Take him. Good boy. Take him. Oh, Balto, go get him. <laughs> Ted, you've got your giraffe. <laughs> New toys! Happy puppies! It's like, I want this one. I knew that was going to happen. I called it. I called it. I knew you'd end up with that one, you little swine. <laughs> we love new toys! They are really good with their toys. Like, they both play nicely. You're not having both of them. Go get it, Walt. <laughs> Bolt's looking for the squeak. <laughs> When did they squeak? They both squeak. You just want the one that squeaks, don't you? You want that one? No, Ted. Come on, get him. So then later on, I headed to my local equestrian store to have a look at what they had in. I'm looking for a new fly rug for Smokey because I may have accidentally shrunk his in the wash. Um, so yeah, he definitely needs a new fly rug. And I also wanted to pick up some new, some more treats. And um, the other thing I needed was a new fly mask for Smokey as well. So I didn't particularly see any fly rugs I wanted, but after perusing the fly mask for quite a while, I've decided to go with this Lemire one. Um, it's kind of got like the bug eyes, which is what I wanted, and I couldn't help myself but have a little browse at everything else while I was there. But guys, this is the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I post. And I'll see you all very soon for even more videos. Bye guys!